from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Hey, welcome back to East Texas Live. Dr. Ken Kamitsky with Azalea Orthopedics is here to talk about how to maintain healthy hip and knee joints. Dr. Kamitsky, you do something I don't think I could ever do. And I don't mean surgery because you went to medical school. I mean sawing through a bone. You literally have to saw through a bone at some point in your work life. It's glorified carpentry, but yes. All right, so what does the saw look like? Is it a saw that drags back and forth? Is it a tiny little circular saw? How does that work? There's all kinds of saws. Um, the most rudimentary ones that we've used forever look like Black & Decker saws that you get from Home Depot. They just cost a lot more. All right, they, tell me they're smaller, though. They come in every size. They're pretty they're interchangeable. big? They, no, they fit in, you know, I don't have a huge hand, but they fit in my hand. They fit in guys who've got huge hands. So. Do you ever think that's weird? You're like, man, I am sawing through a dude's bone right now. I used to. I think I've just gotten corrupted by doing it so much that no. But yes, it's 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 definitely an acquired taste. Well, I know a few people who have had knee surgery, my mom included. How common is this? Is this like something maybe 10%, 20% of the population will need at some point? I don't know if we know exactly the entire population. You know, the the best statistics I could probably say would be from the American Association of Hip and Knee Surgeons. They say about 800,000 knees are done in the US per year and a little less than 450,000 ish right now are being done of hips. Okay, so how many of these are sports injuries and how many of these regular people going through their lives and they just have an oops moment? Uh, I think 80% just come from vanilla osteoarthritis, just wear and tear. You live long enough, you got a certain tread of tire that you have and at some point it runs out. Okay, to, are to we talking about like cartilage or meniscus? Yes. The cushioning that prevents that bone from touching one another and once it does then there's free nerve endings and it hurts. But the other 20%? No, I mean, we were in East Texas so you'll see football injuries, guys who have incisions about that big from the 70s rub dirt in it and go play. Right. It takes a toll after several decades. Yeah. So I think my hips and knees are fine now. How do I stay out of your office in about 30, 40 years? If we could prevent it 100%, I wouldn't need to have a job. Um, so we haven't fully got that yet. However, having a healthy weight, you know, maintaining balance to try and avoid fractures after you get older. Um, if you do low impact aerobic exercise, that's been shown to be pretty good to preserving cartilage. So all those things and you know, healthy diet. What, what do I need to stay away from? Well, I'm not going to tell anybody to stay away from sports, but obviously trauma just in general is going to be a potential risk factor for it, but you got to live your life. All right, so I guess one of the most famous hip injuries we all know about is the Bo Jackson injury. What's the name for that? Is there like a special doctor name y'all have to describe that? Well, when the blood supply to the ball itself gets kinked, there's only several areas in the body where there's nothing downstream to give collateral blood supply. So if you think of it like a heart attack mm -hmm. of the hip, the ball dies, the cartilage falls off, and then it becomes incredibly painful. And so most of the time we don't know what causes that. There are things, alcohol, steroids, things like that that can cause it, but most of the time it just happens like a heart attack and then at that point you deal with it once you notice it. So Bojack, the ball of the ball joint in his hip died? It died, it developed arthritis, and at some point ended up getting, I think, multiple replacements. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Okay, so what? talk about the technological advances. Are you guys 3D printing the new joints yet, or is that coming up? There are, is technology with 3D printing, but right now the big thing that everybody seems to talk about is wanting to use a robot. It's like you say the word laser, it's really cool, or right right. if you say robotics, it's you know got that cool factor to it. And so there's studies that are still being debated on what clinical value it is, but right now what we do know is that if you use the robotic technology, it's based on a CT scan of your hip or knee, whatever you're using, and then you can pre-template where you're gonna put the implants before surgery. So you measure 10 times and then you cut once with a robotic arm that then agrees with the surgeon. So the surgeon's still doing it, but foreseeably in the future at some point they may not be. Do y'all have any robots going on yet or is this? We do, I think there's a, at least one robot at every hospital in East Texas right now. Any chance he can revolt on us? Not yet. Okay, <laughs> keep an eye on <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. All right, uh, and what about, I'm interested in these cartilage replacement things I read about online. Is there some sort of transplant or maybe an artificial cartilage that's coming down the pipe? So there's, that's joint preservation as opposed to replacement, but there's definitely, if you're not a great candidate for a joint replacement, say you're 25 and you had an injury, there are super specialized areas of things where you can transplant cartilage. They can also grow cartilage on, you know, in a Petri dish and then put it back in, or you can have an arthroscopy and they stimulate it to make different types of pseudo cartilage form. And all of those are out there, but that's usually going to be a joint preservationist that does that. Some of that sounds a little above my head. <laughs> <All right>. $10 dollar <laughs> word. <laughs> right. This is Dr. Ken Kamitsky from Azalea Orthopedics. And if you would like to learn more about what he does or maybe you need some, uh, some of his help, azaleaortho.com.